James Ernest of the Gruen Truth Radio Network here with one of the stars of Marvel Live, Joshua Davidson, aka The Hulk. So, uh, Joshua, how's the tour treating you all so far? Treating us fantastically, actually. We've been having great on audiences uh, leading up to coming to Cincinnati, and it's been really a wonderful experience to get to perform for all these audiences. I can imagine you're especially excited about the Cincinnati performances with it being in your uh, backyard. Yes, yes. Hometown audiences will be... It would be great to have friends from home and friends from uh, the gyms that I've, I've trained at and all, all the places that I've been and grew up in come and check out the show. Nice. And the way I understand it, you've been in performing for a long time. About uh, how long and what got you started? Uh, well, I've, I've been... Uh, gymnast since I was 18 months old and uh, got involved in that that form of performance for a large part of my life leading up into college and everything and then I got involved with uh, going to stunt school um, out in Seattle uh, which is when I got involved in Marvel Universe Live. I've uh, involved myself of course in other sports including climbing, gymnastics, uh, martial arts such as jiu-jitsu and of course, like I said, stunts. Um, it, it, it's been a wild ride, and uh, all I can say is that I'm very thankful for all the people that have helped me along the way and helped me become who I am. The way I understand it, like you said, with the stunts and all, it's not just uh, your job, it's your passion, because your hobbies, I've heard, include uh, similar things to that. Yes. Yes, definitely. Uh, hobbies such as, of course, surfing, climbing. Um, it, it is a passion, and it is something that you wake up every day. You wake up, throw some kicks, do do some weightlifting, then go to the climbing gym, then go go work work out again and do some weightlifting. It's it's a passion, and it's a, a lifestyle for me. You know. Excellent. And then I hear uh, one of your role models uh, has got a really big event in Columbus every year. Yes, Arnold, uh, of course, yeah. I, I grew up uh, competing in his um, gymnastics co competition, his gymnastics meet, um, every year in Columbus uh, growing up. And it's, it's really, it was a uh, wonderful opportunity to get to meet uh, Lou Ferrigno, who did the original Hulk show. Um, and now it, it's going to be amazing to get to perform in Columbus now. That is awesome. Important note about him, which you probably already knew, but I didn't know the time I met him. Um, with him being hearing impaired, you have to make sure he's actually looking at you when you have a conversation with him. Otherwise, he kind of doesn't know. Yeah. I did not know that. That's interesting. Yeah, because I did not know that the time I met him up at the Arnold. I'm, I'm standing up there at the booth, and he's working on some paperwork, and I'm telling him the story about how me and my dad grew up, or I grew up with my dad watching uh, you know, his show, and he doesn't comment back or anything. That, of course, then I later on found out that was because he couldn't hear me. But at the time, oh. I thought, yeah, at the time, I'm like, this guy's kind of rude. And I'm like, then someone explained to me, they're like, no, no, he just didn't hear you. You, you, you should have made huh. Yeah, because he's a really nice guy because I met him another time. Really friendly, great guy and all. But the first time I met him, I did not know that uh, bit of information about him. And uh, very important to know. But, yeah, how does it feel? Yeah playing his iconic character on the stage? Um, well, it's honestly a rush. You, you come out of the throne that I, that I uh, climb out of, and, and you hear the roar of the audience. It's, it's an amazing experience because you get to show the kids what they've been waiting for. Um, they've been waiting the whole, the whole show, and they've been hoping and wait, waiting for the Hulk to come out, and when I do come out, they, the look on the eyes of the kids is just amazing. The way I understand it, you have aspirations to do, uh, continue this into uh, TV and movie? I do, I do. Uh, one day I hope to continue training uh, hard enough and putting my name out there to start getting into stunts and TV and, uh, and movies. Yes, I, I do. <laughs> Excellent. The way I understand it, the Marvel people with them being partners with the Monster Jam have uh, had people do crossovers. Have you ever thought about driving a monster truck? I, I have definitely thought about stunt driving, and, and, and that's, that's definitely a, a different avenue for me to go. 
And but right right now, to this point in my life, I, I'm I'm enjoying performing for Marvel Universe live, and it's 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 a wonderful wild ride. What's currently the most prized possession you have? Oh, that is a wonderful wonderful question. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you. I have a lot of uh, workout equipment that I carry along, and a lot of stunt equipment. I, I value those as well, but currently. I'd have to say my Bible. Um, it's it's something that I carry around with me on, almost everywhere I go, and uh, it's something I, I like to read out and open up every, every chance I can get. And the way I understand it, you like to give back to uh, good causes. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I, I've, I've throughout my life, I've, I've had the wonderful opportunity to get to uh, participate in charities and, and to go to food food pantries and help out whenever I can, and that's been truly a uh, rewarding experience for me, because you get to help help the people who can't always help themselves, and you get to give back to them. And I also understand you've helped out with uh, Special Olympic type groups? Uh, yes, um, my mom uh, was a uh, special needs teacher, and she instilled within me the, the drive to Help, help people such as that and uh, te- teaching and, and, and helping people with special needs is, is another one of my passions, yes, but it's it's one of the many passions that exist in my life and honestly, I, all I can say is that I, I I have so much respect for people who wake up every day and understand that it's a challenge to go through life. <laughs> What was uh, one of your? What was your favorite event in the uh, gymnastics? Um, I would have to say between rings and floor, uh, those were some of the some of the events that I excelled at and definitely enjoyed participating in. Um, of course, I, I enjoyed all, all the other events as well, but I'd have to say one, some of my favorites were floor and rings. I was going to say, unfortunately, with the Hulk, you probably don't get to use any of those uh, particular skills. Uh, but as some of the other characters, I can imagine you could do something with a rings or a, uh, you know, like a floor, uh, tumbling act, uh, routine. Have you ever, uh, done any other characters or has it only been the Hulk so far? Uh, so far I'm also involved in being, uh, Chitari, which is one of the, um, one of Loki's thugs that, uh, helps him fight, fight all of the heroes. And, and within that character, I, I have done a lot of tumbling as well as involve myself in swinging on a bar, so you could call that a uh, high bar, I guess. Um, but also I, I portray a tumbling present, which is, as of course you know, involves tumbling on a, tumbling on a floor. So I can imagine that, uh, that you have to do a lot of workouts and training to stay in top shape to be able to do uh, a character like that with having such uh, intense uh, movements. Yes, yes. Uh, mo- most of my days uh, days off involve uh, training, such as weightlifting, uh, climbing, uh, tumbling, of course, and, and involving myself in any activity that just gets me outside, gets my body moving. Um, I like to start off the day with a, a nice run, followed by a, a weightlifting session, and then whichever activity I feel like just invigorates my soul. Um, a, a lot of times... The monotony of, of training can get get into your head, and of course, making sure that you break that monotony is important. What advice would you give to somebody who was just getting started, or that was interested in getting started, and being a uh, entertainer? I would say keep involving yourself, and make sure that what you're going after is, is truly a passion of yours, because it will involve every waking moment of your life and you will if you do not enjoy it it will take over um but i would would say keep going and make sure that whatever you do you love so tell us about the big show coming up in uh cincinnati what uh what's marvel stars can we expect to see so we have a plethora of characters, of course, including the Chitauri tumbling peasants, the Hulk. But we could also have a new set of uh, characters coming in, of course, the Guardians of the Galaxy, if you haven't heard. Um, the Avengers, um, such as Spider-Man, 
Captain America, Black Widow, and of course, a new addition being the Wasp, and of course, the Sinister Six, six trying to fight Spider-Man. Um, the storyline is Loki is, of course, up to his no good talents, um, and he's trying to get the Wand of Batum uh, from Nebula. Um, and as such, the characters uh, try to stop him from performing such evil deeds as uh, taking over the universe, the universe and destroying it. And the way I understand it, people have more than one opportunity to see this. There's usually multiple showings. Yes, yes. We have shows going on from Thursday to Saturday. And as well as Sunday. And uh, are there any, like, special opportunities? Um, you know, are there any VIP or any cool things like that that people can uh, take advantage of? I would say... The best opportunity you have have is to come see the show and come check out, buy tickets. Um, we you can get tickets at MarvelUniverseLive.com or at your local box office. Should the uh, fans dress up? Yes, yes. Uh, I would I would say definitely get your kids dressed up whenever you can. Excellent. And then, is there any cool uh, merch that, you know, kind of an interactive feel between it and the uh, performers? I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Is there any, like, cool merch, uh, merchandise that, you know, like, say, you know, the uh, what, what was that, the scepter that they were going to have? Is there, do the fans have an opportunity to buy, like, a replica version that they could wave around? Oh, yes. Most definitely. Our merchandising department is is overjoyed to uh, give the give the fans any opportunity they can to purchase uh, merchandise. We have wands, we have Hulk's, Captain America's, Black Widows, um, all sorts of merch that the friends and family can enjoy Excellent. after the show ends. Cool. And then, if uh, who are some of the big sponsors for this event? I actually do not know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm not sure. But I do know that um, Zelda Entertainment is, is the backer for, for this uh, performance. If fans are wanting to find out more about it and find out more about you on uh, the web and social media, where are some good spots for them to check you both out at? Definitely check us out on Facebook. Uh, MarvelUniverseLive.com is, is a wonderful resource. You can get tickets, find out more about about the characters and creatures that exist on the show. And uh, honestly, I would have to say, please come come and check out the show to, to anyone who's trying to come and see it. Uh, definitely. Definitely. And then about you. I mean, shoot, if fans are wanting to learn more about uh, you as a performer oh, or an athlete, uh, do you do social media? Uh, yes, I'm uh, on Instagram as well as Facebook. And uh, just trying to... Uh, I'm here to get here. Okay. I'm on the phone. No, please, not go around. I'm on the phone. Right, you just said no, no, no trip. 